weekend. Let's get talking about cannabis competitions. How do you do them right, Scotty? I think there's a lot of way to do cannabis competition. I don't know if there is a quote right way. There's a long way, but maybe multitude of right ways. You guys just went to one though. What'd you think? Yeah. A banner, what's up, brother? Good Happy morning. Saturday morning. Yo. Grambo, what's up? Yo, boys. Good morning. Yeah, we went to the first we went to what was it called? The showdown at Cultivate Grow Store, right? Yep. And first and foremost, it was in the warehouse of a grow store. Mm-hmm. And being a business owner that has a warehouse, uh, I don't think I'm even allowed to invite people into it because of you know liability <laughs> issues, let alone set up tables and invite them all to smoke <laughs> 90 strains of weed. 90. That was a lot. <laughs> uh, hey, come on. Shout out to Chip Baker. Pretty cool. I was talking to my wife about it. I'm like, still- how do you not open a grow store with the name Chip Baker? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I, I'll start there. 90 strains, man. I'm, I'm too much, too much. Like, how can you get through them? How are they judged? I mean, we obviously have our own DGC cup, which we're always trying to evolve and get better at. But that's a lot of strain. It's a lot. And so this is the beginning of it. Right now, it's like, oh, my God, a weed celebration. We'll have a contest. You know, anybody wants to enter, enter. So it's just kind of like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe they're letting us do it now. But it's got weird. This is the topic of conversation this morning. How do you refine it? We have a DGC Cup coming up every year. It should get better and better. And yeah, I don't know. I some. I, I really did this to crowdsource some ideas from the DGC. But man, yeah. Where do you think? Oh, come on, Banner. You're uh, you know that you can't uh, uh, taste 90 strains in one. No, day. I don't think so. Yeah. So. At ATU, do they have anything like this up in BC? I'm sure they do. We had actually some requests for the Canadian DGC Cup. Logistically, it sounds challenging, but, um, you know, there's been different uh, cannabis competitions throughout history. There, the High Times had one for a while. Was it, isn't it called like the Cannabis Cup? Yeah. It um, is, but and that's they didn't do it right either, I don't think. Or maybe they did. Do you, Josh, do you remember yeah. the uh, you uh, Christian uh, name? Yeah, I'm your birth serious. Sorry, man. Senor Grambo. <laughs> yeah. uh, do, do you uh, remember how they did it? Because it was all, did they have celebrity judges or pre-picked judges? Yeah, and it was Chong all was there at, like pretty much every year in Denver. Chong would come through and it would be, but then all of the voting was back room. So it, was, it wasn't probably, the public. But that's probably the way it has to be because you can't you know, <laughs> vote on that. You can't judge 90 strains. How, you would need... What, would you need a month to judge 90 Strange Banner? Well, can we rewind for a second? Just yes, take a step back, like 30,000 foot view. All right, man. I'm going to What is the then. purpose of the cup? So I would argue that this cup, for the most part, wasn't it kind of like a social event, though? And that's my, yes. And what I'm saying is, so right now, everybody's just excited. Yeah, weed celebration. But as they get more, you know, as that wears off. Man, what what are we going to do as far as to make it a real, if we want to see who some of the best growers are in the world, what is it, like a Sweet 16 kind of thing? Or what's the NCAA do? They got Bracket. Yeah, don't they have brackets or yeah. something? Yeah. I see two formats. And I had to grab my general. sleeping dog, man. Hang on. You do that. Where <laughs> you have judges like the Cowboy Cup, um, they have time, they have time to spend with the cannabis, you know. You, you have seen it where events said they judges get a couple of weeks, they get time to go through it. I know yeah. some judges are like, you know, if I'm judging a strain, I need the day. I need that day. I need to start fresh. My endocannabinoid system is not saturated. I'm starting that morning with it for a tie of the day. How does it feel throughout the day? Does it have legs? Does it stay with me? And then the other one, such as ours, or the guys you guys went to, is kind of people's choice that day. Social event, throwdown, party. Yeah, who brought the best week like, that day? Well, what's important to you, dude? I almost use. I almost called him Brett. I'm using everybody <laughs> today, man. But I mean, you can, I, I'm a frost guy. To where I'm like, dude, that looks dank. And then some people, I, I can't remember. I think you said, go try 58. And I tried 58, and I'm like, yo, that took me from here to here. Like you know, it, it slapped a headband on me. I was all, you know, my my forehead was all hot, and I was like, so, dude, yeah. And that's next to impossible if you're gonna do really do all 90. It's you're not going to have that same experience. And maybe you can go. I mean, nineties in ridiculous in a day. Uh, well, how four do, hours. Hold on. Yeah, it wasn't even a day. Four hours. So how do you judge them, Banner? You're the guy that has the most well, terpene. Uh, so 
I mean, for for a for a cup like that, where you are like our cup, where <laughs> or just in when you're judging, say that we've got three strains here. How do you judge them? Do you ask, hey, how is this grown? First and foremost, do you just look at the nope. frost? First thing I do is smell it. Gotcha. So you couldn't care if it was growing with Miracle Grow or horse poop or whatever. You're just looking for. It's not that I don't care, but it wouldn't be Wait, my first question. You said smell it? Because yeah. the eyes are the most powerful sense that we have. Everything is dominated by our eyes. No. Remember, remember the Lemon G, bro? Yes. That yeah, was weird like and yeah. Looks terrible. Yeah. It looks like something you don't want to smoke, but smelled then, awesome. Smelled yeah, so exactly. And then when you smoke it, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. But yeah, uh, I think smell is probably the most important thing for judging like initially thanks for not calling it the nose and then the next thing is going to be uh, for me is the taste and then just because there's no other choice because you have all those samples at one place um there are some that will hit you like when when we went there was uh what was it number 59 is that yeah, what i'm talking about it's either 58 or 59 yeah i and think it, it was number 59 but that one went right on you yeah man. you yeah. immediately felt it you're like oh okay this is a little bit different than the others i've had so far Yep. And that's what you're looking for. So I guess it's whether you, how many of them you can hit, right? Yeah. And I mean, guy like me, I wake and bake every morning, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. So you showed up high. Uh, no, we, I don't know if we did. Cause we went, shout out to Adam Dunn. We went to that Adam Dunn farmer's market beforehand. And although there was a ton of weed there, I don't, know, do we, I don't think we smoked a ton, right? I think I smoked a joint or two out there. But no, I don't think I showed up too high for the cannabis event. Yes, dude. I just was waiting. I, sometimes I love the pause. Of, it's like just a moment of clarity. <laughs> since we, but I guess it's not ideal for content. Yes. Um, I was thinking about going back to the events. Um, how did the, like the people that participated in that event that brought their flower and entered were they able to promote their strain? Did they know which ones were theirs? Were Yes. Let's talk about that. So know. it's like 80 or 90 strains. And the first thing everybody does is run around to identify <laughs> yeah. yeah, They weren't told, but no. you figured it out quick. So that's one thing. Yours. Let's talk about it. How do you take that out of it? Because it is a popularity contest at that point. Once you know your strain, you walk over and you say, hey, vote for number 32. Come on, I'll walk you over there. I'll vote for number 30." Give you a free joint, but well, most of that though no, is this. I mean, if you got ninety to choose from, I mean, I did it. Hey, what should I try at this table? But you don't want to just okay. Home, uh, I can't remember whose it was. It was like fifty something, you know. And you're like, I want to be. I don't want to be authentic, you know. I know Hot Rod entered, but I want to be authentic. I don't want to, you know, be like, oh shit, I should vote for Hot Rod just because he's my friend. That takes a lot of the, you know, the contest out of it. And then, yeah, yeah, that's a popularity. That's yes. A, we yeah, we had that at the DDC Cup where people, when they were coming with their entries to enter and getting their numbers at that point, they were learning their, their numbers right away. And I think it's nice to have, uh, you got to work to know which strain is yours. But what trips me up is some people are like, don't show the flower, like uh, cover up the jar or so people can't go around and see it. Yeah. Just like people sample. But man, you got to see flower. We all love to see flower. Oh, like, yeah. Nugs, man. It so matters. Taking that, if, if if it's a one day event, a four hour event, whatever it is happening that day, I think if the grower goes and finds their strain and they decide that they want to promote their strain, however which way, that's kind of just how the cookie crumbles. Is that what do I you, say? Do you let them though? Do you go around and with uh, a little know, bit unfair them? because some people are better promoters than others. Some people have social anxiety, for example. Some people yeah. might not be able to go around and tell people, "Hey, go check out this, this, go this one. I, I this one I grew this way, man. This is the best because I grew it this way." I heard you mention Scotty though that would should you do that? Should you let the grower put a card out out and say what nutrients they use? This what strain cured Tiny Tim's rickets. <laughs> And gonna be the old man here. <laughs> yes. So, like back back in the day, sports had. You can't be the old man because you shaved your beard. Sorry, dude. <laughs> back in the day, like you know, sports had a lot of like sportsmanship was a big deal, right? Like you're supposed to kind of compete and but yet still respect your competition. And it seems to me that over the last few decades, that it just in general, those things have gone by the wayside. And now the most important thing is that you win. I'm going to tell you something. There's a lot more competition out there and there's a lot more information 
about your competitors. So it's probably a lot more that you can either choose to like or not like or choose to compete with. So I know what you mean. It really has changed. But back in the deal, back in the day, you could be a gentleman. You know, here I tell you what, you go in front of me, sir. Now you can't do be that. a gentleman anymore, it's especially in a weed tough. competition. Come on, righty, Grambo, finding it hard to be a gentleman every day. Mm. Not white stripes, nothing. I Good don't know stuff, what. man. No, but Ooh. I do have uh, information. If you guys are curious about the uh, the winner, you got you guys. Uh, it, it took a little while for votes to well, be tabulated. Time out for a second. I couldn't care less about the winner. <laughs> it just occurred to me. I could. Could you? Uh. I don't really know. Yeah, it never occurred to me to yeah, yeah. because the winner's not the best grower in the world. No, no, no. I mean, I loved Hot Rod stuff. Hot Rod, stuff, I, I, I actually, uh, I, I look when no one was looking because Jaron was running a booth, and so I, I in front of Jaron, I grabbed one of Hot Rod's nugs to take home. So right. I, I love that stuff, and he didn't win, but uh, yeah, because it, it, it was uh, Dante's Inferno ended up winning. I haven't smoked that banner. You know anything about Dante's Inferno? No. Yeah, that's interesting. See? I mean, it's just per. I don't know. To me, is, is, aren't the strains just really personalized or personal to everybody? Yeah, that was one like, of the problems uh, at the DGC Cup. I said one of the stories I always will tell people about the problem in judging is like I don't like Island Sweet Skunk Jack. I don't. I, you know, I don't like Durbin. That's my personal preference. I don't like it. I like OGs, Diesels, GMOs. You know, so at the DGC Cup, there was the best looking flower I've ever seen in my life. And I hit it and it's Jack. And I go, that is the best Jack I've ever seen. I hate it. No vote. Goodbye. <laughs> and it's like, there's nothing he can do to get my vote. Cause I just don't like the Terps, man. From Jack Harrow. Exactly. Talking, yeah. You have a predisposition where you just don't like that flavor. So, so you're never going to vote for it. Yeah. So we were talking maybe terping, uh, grouping them by Terps, grouping them. How do you, how do you group them? So everyone's happy. You just know gotta, if there's a way. You just got to give people time. They, you need to do it beforehand or you you need to do brackets where you're testing, I don't know, one or two strains at a time. I do like that oh, idea. Do to, oh, sorry, buddy. Do we need to do 24 hours of the DVC cuff where it's just like I mean, pretty sweet. old Tay and stay over? I love it. I do. I had to interrupt because I was checking out Grambo on camera here. Who and, and what was the purpose of the, the CB hat? Like I've seen that before. We're looking at it. if you're listening, Grambo's got the hat with a little ding, ding, ding. Dingly ball coming off of it. Dude. Did people you don't really wear, wear those historically? <laughs> was that fashion? I just remember, yeah, it was like an old man, like, like I remember it was like the Christmas story. It's like, leave me alone, spirit. You know, he's got his little little foot. So you guys get the robes, and I was like, well, I gotta, you know. Dude, you don't wear that hat to bed, do you? I don't know. I just woke up. Don't don't wear a hat to bed. Don't put a hat on the bed, bro. Maybe just my hair away. I Maybe wanna, my hair will grow. I want to talk the future of Canada. We trying to help. This is the first. Scotty, do you have one of these? Uh, you've been working on some some real grower uh, throw-ins here. I know you don't have the infomercial yet. The Billy Mays done, but do you have one you could throw in today? I'm trying here, man. Yeah, I decided maybe I'll stop yelling next time. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Then I want to talk about some terps. Today's show is brought to you by Real Growers Grow Nuts. Stop stressing about mixing and measuring nutrients and stop worrying about nutrient burn or nutrient deficiencies. Try feeding your plants with Grow Nuts instead. And don't take my word for it. John Sin says, absolutely amazing product, simple to use. Just mix in pot and water. John says, I've tried several other newts, but these take the cake for sure. Recommended a thousand times over, great for novice growers. Thank you, John. So if you're looking for the easiest way to feed your plants, check out Grow Dots. You mix them in once right at the beginning of your grow cycle, and they keep your plants fed all the way to harvest. See what other growers are saying about them over at growdots.com. Little excited there, but you could bring it up even more. I mean, I mean, I need to get that dress before, before the recording happened. But yeah, well, I was thinking about, about Billy guy. Mays. All right, you know, I get excited when I talk about. And then the dude called me up a couple of days. He goes, he goes, hey, you know that Vince from Shamwell guy is pretty good. <laughs> yes, he did. He was watching some of his stuff. I he said, goes, I like. <laughs> He's good, but he's, I'm like, he's a little, he's a little weird between the hair and the facial expressions. I'm not sure what to think of him. And he'd be like moving the chap, the, the cloth around. He'd be like, hey, welcome to camera guy. You keep it up with me here. Come on. Yeah. Like, he just, this, the, 
The it headset. Weird, right? it, it's the headset. The headset is genius. Well, the headset gives away. I, I know a guy that worked with Vince, like 101. Vince uh-huh. got to start as a carny. So he was a barker. And so that's where the headset comes from. He, that's where he feels more comfortable is actually yeah. barking at people. Come on in. Did you ever hear about that thousand hours that they talk about? Malcolm Gladwell says for mass. 10,000 hours. Yeah, yeah, Shut yeah. up, Grandpa. I, I read the book. Who's got that much time? <laughs> Who's got that it's much time? Tipping. Outliers. Outliers, yeah. Is it tipping point or outliers? Yeah, I think outliers. outliers. Well, he's yeah. got a couple books. Any, yeah. <laughs> have you seen what he looks like, by the way? You ever yeah. seen, like read authors? Oh, then yeah. you see what they look like. He was on Bill like, Maher all huh. the time back in the day. Was he? No. No, I can't remember why we He spaced about him. out. Malcolm Gladwell's very spaced out. He's a genius in his books. When oh. you hear him talk, it's like, are you high? <laughs> We're talking about thousand hours of carnival. <laughs> Carnival barkers, man. <laughs> if you're a carnival barker and you're doing a five days a week for five, six hours uh, a day. Just turn a camera on and he's good. But I mean, you get your thousand hours. Shut up, Grandma. I'm only going a thousand. <laughs> you know, how many hours do we have going? You know, we can oh, do this. Man. Pretty, uh, I bet you got, you got about 2,000 hours probably. Yeah. Whoa. Not I'm a bad. double master. Nobody goes 10,000, Grambo. That's ridiculous. I probably got like seven, 8,000 hours playing guitar, I imagine. Wow. Dude, how many hours you got uh, on the mountain bike, you think? Total. That'd take a while to calculate, right? But he probably keeps track of it. (laughs) Banner. Uh Oh, hey, shit. I'm going to take it take it back to Terps before I start shopping for fake headsets and think about fun ads. <laughs> nice. hey, so let's talk about Terps banner. Um, what do you I have? Found, the big book of Terps? County? Yeah, I found this, man. The big book of Terps. Now, Facebook knows me enough where they want to sell it to me. <laughs> Is it scratch and snip? Because that's the only way. That's, that would, that's what I'm asking. Does it come with a kit? I don't know, but can you <laughs> learn Terps from a book? No, right? Sort of. Really? Well, it can help you well, identify so, them, at least in your own mind. So a lot of these, uh, you know how you could just buy Terps? Ugh. Yes, yeah, really like good. limonene and stuff yeah. like that. Botanical so mo- most of these things, and it do- I don't know how specific this is to cannabis, but they come with like a little kit. It's got like little vials of liquid. And then when you this open is- them up, you can smell those terpenes. Wow. So the idea is to like train your brain to recognize now them. that's cool. That's yeah. cool. The Big Book of Terps. Hey, Grambo, we yeah, always man. talk about thumbnails and titles. Yeah. These guys got it good. Yeah. Chat GPT did this. The Big Book of Terps. Understanding terpenes, flavonoids, and synergy in cannabis. Ooh, synergy? synergy? That synergy one's cool, man. <laughs> uh, this book seems pretty cool, man. Yeah. You think we said enough nice things about it for them to send us one? <laughs> <laughs> well, so what's the, pro- what, what do, what's do the me a purpose favor. of this? Hit this web page if you would, Grant. Well, this thing helps a little bit more. Do you? Can you help us, Banner? You're probably at least I don't know much about terps. Do are would you call yourself a terp uh, aficionado? Proficient? In terps? I don't like the titles, man. What do you mean, you purist? <laughs> Tell me you're a purist. What? This is like the common ones: myrcene, yeah. limonene, yep. caryophyllene, linalool, apinene. So myrcene's earthy, clovey, herbal. Whoops, is that this, oh, is that a better one? I found another one from Big help Book. Help me out. Big man. Book of Terps had the big meme of Terps. Okay, help me out, guys. What are you thinking, Banner? You, th- you think this is shallow and pedantic? No. I well, I that mean, that the, the research now is all around what <laughs> these what these do, right? Yes. So um, I think some of them will have different... Eff- I don't know. Does this include anything about effects or like what they... What each terpene does? I doubt it. And isn't there synergistic effects too? I mean, that's what the strains are all about, man. You put a little myrcene and a little caryophyllene and add some pinene to it. It's not I mean, like I'm making a recharge 2.0, right? At some point, you hopefully just recognize the uh, the strains that, or the you know varieties that you like based on the terps that you like. Yeah, but I just, I, Grambo, just... Uh, We'll go to the other one. The other one was easier for me, man. It says myrcene, earthy, clovey, and herbal. It does. That one did tell you. Do me a favor. Yeah, just stay on that one because it had all this information. Yeah. Um, and it says this is the medical effects of it. And you can call bullshit. Who knows? But so myrcene, analgesic, anti-inflammatory, antipsychotic, antipasomotic, bro. Yeah. Mm. It's hypnotic, it's muscle relaxant, it's a sedative. I just take that. 
So is that what you're looking for? You want something heavy and stony? Look, this one's limonene is an antifungal, an antimicrobial, and an antispasmodic. Yeah. Hey, try that one. I'm about it. <laughs> it's spaz. Yeah, karyophyllene is peppery, woody, and spicy. And uh, that's really good for your tract cell lining. It protects your digestive tract cell lining. Mm. Jesus. Really? <laughs> I love it. Or <clears throat> Obviously, this prohibition falls more and more research is going into the terpenes and their effects on the medical side. But I want to bring it back. Uh, winding out before we got all prohibition coming up, the future cannabis competitions, because it got me thinking about like uh, when you see, I forgot what the name of it is. There's real, one in Denver, um, like a grand tasting for um, beer at this yeah. like, convention center is like thousands. It's huge. Thousands yep. of people. It's big for tourism. The state, it's, coming, bro. it's crazy. So but the, the great American beer around. fest, right? The great American beer Thank you. fest. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, you can go around and sample, uh, undo it. it uh, not that appealing to me. The thing with cannabis, um, some uh, maybe on the federal ones, it's descheduled. Hopefully, we'll be able to have something like that. But then there's the whole Clean Air Act. So anything that gets really big cannabis wise, you're gonna have to have events. It's gonna have to be outdoors, right? Maybe, but, but yeah, I mean they've got those smoke zappers. <laughs> yeah, you ever been to a Isn't bar? There some I love when you go to a bar with the smoke zapper. They have them in Florida still. Is there an ex- there's an exclusion to get around that if you have some ventilation and stuff, right? Or not? yeah, it's called Dabs, brother. That's all you need. All right. No, uh, nah, um, yeah, good point. I was thinking about it. The cannabis cup is very similar to Great American Beer Fest, right? You know, it's from high times. It's big what, and corporate. What, what, what was it's less puking? There is no more. To my knowledge. Less, what happened to the cannabis cup? More vomiting, less time. puking. All right, I mean, yeah, they stopped it. Uh, I think 2016 was the last, or 2015 was the last one here in Denver, and now it's only in isolated parts of California. Yeah. They still do it in California and stuff. But well, the High Times got their stoner card uh, rescinded. Oh no, it was a big deal, man. Oh, back man. about seven, eight years ago, right? Oh, <laughs> it's no, like, man, same thing, thing happened to normal back in the day. Who did they sell that to? Like Good Housekeeping magazines? I can't something? remember. Yeah, but as yeah. someone who's uh, you know, yeah, not, see, I'm not on not it really now. It's High Times Cannabis Cup 2023 live. New Mexico, Method Man, Red Man. Hey. So it's more of a celebrity judging concert, which I'm I'm not against that. Uh, it sounds cool. Social event. I'd yeah. actually go to that, man. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Isn't that kind of ours, guys? If you're interested in the DGC Cup, uh, not a hard date yet. That's what you say. But uh, we're putting in for June 1st, Saturday, not only right. summer in. Fort Collins, Colorado. Oh. Yeah, I remember what we were talking about since it's unconfirmed. Let's uh let's keep it under our hats. <laughs> no, Don't just kidding, me. Man. I'm just kidding. Grandpa, I'm still yeah, fascinated by your hat. Uh, I'll keep it under my hat. It's hard not to look at it. I, why am I holding a fly swatter while I do it? Don't worry about right. it. I've never seen it. You should put an eyeball on that pom-pom. Oh, that would be dope. It's doing so much, man. But just there. Remember my buddy had a bong so dirty that something started growing in it, and it grew an eyeball, and we freaked out and could have been science <laughs> moving on <laughs> that could happen dude i was listening to my micro book all right yeah you know uh we got the fall prohibition report since we're having fun of the saturday show i thought i'd share what's going on my grill real quick grambo can you play this link there I was working uh oh. i was working really hard in my grow painting and just trying to to get stuff done so this is what happens when uh you got are, is it working for you, Grandma? Yeah, man. There we go. This is what happens when you're when your dudes kid. <laughs> They're prime <laughs> priming wow. with white paint on the concrete is wall. This, is this how they do labor laws in Canada? Daddy, I can't lift my I, other arm anymore. Can I go to bed? I told wow, nice my daughter who's, thir- who's 13 to like I'd pay her. I'm like, how much you gonna pay me for this? I'm like, I'll give you 20 an hour. That is damn good. That's good. Cool. 20 dollars an yeah, hour. It's Canadian. Uh, oh yeah. What is that? Like four bucks? bucks? <laughs> and then wow. uh and then uh, I, I got on her. She was like, how long have I been doing this? I'm like 45 minutes. Okay. Like, okay. Hurry Take up. Care. You'll get done quicker. I was tell her just, just <laughs> fine up, you'll get done quicker. Paying her hour Take your 15 yeah. bucks and go. That's what I would do. The dude stumbled on the, like, the greatest Dad. trick ever. It's like just work. For, you pay them hourly and tell them to. If you work faster, you'll be done faster. 
Well, she countered me and said, uh, if I work faster, I'll get paid as much. And uh, I was like, that's smart pretty, kid. pretty there. Right. Dudes raising smart kids up there. You pay her by the wall. That's a good idea, Scotty. I'll have to figure that one out. We have <laughs> yeah. another quote. We have one more me, code to go on that, baby. Yeah. Let, let me know. Let those. me know how crappy that turns out. <laughs> <laughs> We're still hanging out in Ohio. Um, and we had some good comments, guys. Uh, let's take it over there to Papa Grosweed. By the way, this is on Instagram. Didn't do a good introduction there every week. I'm oh. featuring a different state. I believe we're going to Oregon next. So stay tuned for that. Go over to IG if you're from Oregon. Go over there, comment. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what's going on in Oregon. Um, hey, but hang Papa on a second. Grows- yes. Come, come on. What do you got, man? Papa Grows Weed. It could be a uh, Madonna, Madonna cover, man. A Madonna cover. Come on, Rambo. You can do it. We got to do a parody again soon. We'll do one. Papa Grows Weed. I like that. Oh, yeah. Papa don't preach. <laughs> Pop curls away. Come on, we could do that in 10 minutes. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Bring the parodies back. I agree. Uh, Pop up hey, what do you got me. for breakfast, by the way, dude? I got a, mm. I got a power bar, and you can smoke weed out on my coffee mug. So I figured I might. You're, you're winning on the coffee mug. Power bar, I give two thumbs down when I see bikers eating those. I'm like, oh, my God, my stomach hurts. It's just like a compressed brick of it. Yeah. You know, man, I'm mostly into the chicky bar. Mm. And I got to be honest with you, it's occurring to me right now. I didn't eat this chicky bar. The mouse does. Yeah, It's it mouse season. Oh, no. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, I came out of my grill a couple of days ago, and it's just, you know, most things I see a big spider. I'm like, hey, it's cool, man. Dude, there was just this rat looking at me. I was like, look, you go do your thing. I go do mine. You know? <laughs> My girl room's in a, in a garage, in a barn. You know? uh, uh, making oh, a yeah. deal with a rat. Oh, oh, I made that. a deal with him. Back. Hey, Grandpa, Same. I saw him about 12 feet from where you're sta- uh, sitting, by the way. Yeah, I can smell him. Yeah. I knew I smelled Don't lick the table. <laughs> Yikers. I made a deal. I made a deal with a rat almost two years ago. I was sitting in my front yard and it came, literally came up and it sat like Three feet in front of me, stood up and looked at me. And it was cute. One rat, right. no problems, cute. Multiple rats chewing shit up, bad news. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not, I, I went to go for the shovel, which in my head, I think that's in your genes, in your DNA. See a rat, you grab, you have something to try and kill it because it's going to mess with your food. Didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Never seen a rat since, man. That was super cool. That's the rat karma there. I love the, the idea. Like, I married a rat once. <laughs> Made a deal with a rat, then I got a divorce. Uh, the, I'm telling you, man, there's a bunch of material here today, Grandbo. <laughs> you need to listen back. Uh, I have nothing about my Ohio. Voice. Ohio. Papa Grows Weed says that marijuana culture is great in Ohio, in spite of the idiocracy or idiocy of the state. <laughs> Many local communities have decriminalized marijuana. The cops don't care about small home growers. About half of the corporate cannabis companies in the state have publicly come out against home growth. Damn. Then often our governor says, this isn't your grandpa's marijuana in uh, hopes to score potential voters or scare potential voters. Yeah. Damn. Hey, in all fairness, um, this is nothing close to your grandfather's marijuana, <laughs> man. He's going to be impactful. Yeah. It's about 10 times more powerful and it comes in like you 90 really what flavors now. Reason. Yeah, it's way better. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to smoke a whole better. crap load of it and get a cough and some kind of lung infection or mix it with tobacco because it's so damn bad. Dude, you can just enjoy great it's a- quality and just a little bit of it. And you just smoke a oney, right? It's a yeah. Yeah. It's a feature, not a bug. Yeah. And then they say this isn't your grandpa's marijuana. You know, he goes to like, oh yeah, they're gonna go crazy like those jazz musicians that are high here women and it's this craziness. But the uh, what about the half of corporate cannabis companies in the state have publicly come out against home grow? That's kind of sketchy. Like they're lobbying because they're worried about their bottom line, I guess, for sales. Yeah, I mean, it's their business model. There's a lot of huge cannabis companies that aren't making money right now. It's an expensive Whoa. product to make. And the, the cost of it is just shout out say the retail to price. Ten. Yes, sir. Shared a news story where big producers, I think like Tilray is one, maybe Aurora Cannabis, these companies that have bought like tons of climate controlled greenhouse space, environmentally controlled greenhouse space yeah. that used to grow different crops like orchids or veggies. And they are now dedicating certain square footage of the facilities back to those crops because there's too much weed. They can't, they're like, we can't, why are we going to grow more? We have too much already, Good. Uh, yep. which is interesting to see. 
Yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, you can hit it. Grandma, would you hit right? Uh, projected U.S. cannabis market size. Yeah. Just really quick. This is, it says it's projected to be $170 billion in four years by oh, 2028. That's this crazy. year, it was 115 Oh, I'm sorry. That's overall economic impact. Okay. But it was still $38 billion in 2020. No, $33 billion in 2023. Yeah. So 33 fi- billion. So 56 billion, essentially 57 billion is the projection, mm-hmm. but not and, bad. And think of it, that's pretty interesting what they got their economic impact that uh, the gray zone there, mm-hmm. the beige zone. Yeah. Uh, think about when you have more jobs that are coming. How many jobs do you make with dispensaries? Jeez, there's got to be four or 500 dispensaries. Oh, yeah. I always and- uh, kind of like in Hollywood, they talk about like, oh, well, I, I work in the industry and they Ooh. mean Hollywood. If you say I work in the industry in Denver, you mean cannabis. Yeah. And so. you could be the guy that just shows up at the commercial to grow with the lunch truck. Like anytime any of my friends have a problem with their job and they're griping, I hate this job. And I go, just get a badge and go sell weed. It's like a thing that everyone does. Everyone works in the industry in Denver. It's crazy. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. It's, uh, so they're saying the economic impact is over $100 billion overall. So that could be like pipes, you know, like yeah. packaging. So that governor is going to get... Uh, uh, do they call it unelected, man? He's going to get voted out. Kicked out. Yeah. Well, just vote it out next time because the taxpayers are going to say, hey, look, I want part of that $44 billion. I'm yes. I mean, like, that's the main reason why I see I don't get fully. Um, no, I do. I don't, I don't want to get into the reschedule, deschedule talk again. But yeah, it's, it's too hard to ignore. I'm surprised they've ignored the tax dollars this long on the. Uh, federal level as if we need more taxation sure <laughs> jeez oh. you ain't I'm kidding brother some, i'm taking some shout outs scotty because uh, oh. the ddc produces if y'all listening don't know they produce the show which means without our producers going over to dudegrows.com forward slash support paying the ten dollars a month you do not have the dude a grows show for real so i'm gonna give it up here the Dr. Skunkenstein <laughs> halloween's coming up that would be a good halloween outfit uh, as well as Turp Town, Tennessee. What's up? Don't forget Bruce Lee Roy. Bruce Lee Roy. Oh. Bruce Lee Roy is Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. Yes. Do I have that right? That's, that's... Cable guy? Yes, sir. <laughs> I, he, I, he'll never miss. Man, he goes, I'm the cable guy. He doesn't miss. No, I was dubbed the cable guy. I don't want to be the cable guy. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. When does it let off? I mean, do you still... I had to give up on TV about at least maybe 10, 12 years uh, ago. Well, we are You're interrupting shout outs, but I'll say I, I did a hard, when I started stand up, uh, I did a hard cut. No one else's art and tell. So I don't know crap after 2018. So yeah, you didn't yeah. miss much, man. No, no. But so who do we got next? We man, got, I uh, hang with Luce Luce. Oh, you yeah, know? I know Seems that cool one. to me. Yeah. Humble Heights. Loose Lucy's over in Humble Heights. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Loose Lucy's my delight. Uh, oh, not bad. <laughs> me too, Banner. How about Northeast Seed Company? Right. Oh, it could be New England Seed Company. N E Seed Company. That could be your name, and you could just be from uh, another country. Could be Nor'easter. Oh. <laughs> you guys see Nebraska. Uh, <laughs> deliver some laughs. Uh, help push prohibition down and grow knowledge, man. So if you'd had a laugh, we've helped you grow. Support the show. Dudegrows.com forward slash support. Too many benefits to list, man, between the real growers deals, free seeds. We're hooking up some cuts from raw genetics next week. We're doing a lot over on Patreon. You guys are always notified when we're up to stuff. Uh, that's on YouTube, Banner. You got some seeds in your back pocket, too, as well. You got to get some up uh, to uh, get hook up to our producers. Dudegrows.com forward slash support. I see uh, you got it up there. I missed the comment. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, Grambo. That is another great way to help support the show. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been a long time coming and we want to keep coming at you. As I haven't said in a while, I'm going to bring that back around. Do it. Coming at you like Cleopatra? Sure. No? Coming at you live. Is that good? I don't know. That's something that's just stuck in my brain. Who says that, man? Coming at you. Cleopatra. Dr. Dr. Skunkenstein reminded me of Halloween there. Did you? I got a Halloween party coming up with the wife, corporate type. Or whatever. Oh, a co-worker of hers is having a party. It's not a sure. corporate. But anyway, you're supposed to dress as... The theme is dressed as something dead. 
So I got. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going as my sex life. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, where's so the gone. That's my own joke. I'm sorry. Oh, it's just I'm divorced. For, <laughs> it's too good. I'm man. going. Actually, yeah, funny. I'm, oh, I got a piece of piece of bacon for seven bucks from Value Village. So I, my wife's like, "What's that?" I guess that's dead pig. That works. It works. You're going as a piece right. of bacon. You have got to uh, take some pigs. You mean like you have a bacon <laughs> suit? <laughs> It's just a like a foam bacon thing that goes on you. A bacon suit. Uh, yeah. When I in, uh, do you guys do anything? Are you guys dressed up for Halloween? Do you have any parties no. or any of curiosity? Any costumes? Thinking you eat too many mushrooms, and you're like, "This looks delicious, man." <laughs> Dude, he just turns into this big bacon strip, man. Oh man. Um, All right, let's. No, right, we don't. Have, we don't have Halloween in America. I don't know what's up with you guys, man. No, they I'm light off kidding. fireworks here too. I was really confused. At they least do? it's more of a BC thing. If I were to punch up fireworks the first Halloween I moved here, I'm like, they got their holidays wrong. I'm like, no, fireworks are really popular on Halloween. Well, think about BC. The reason they don't have fireworks here is because everything's so dry. You know, it's so easy to have forest fires or start a fire. Man, everything's completely no, safe. Like, yeah, isn't everything just saturated with moisture all the time in no. BC? Fire danger zero. Thank Zero. God, because one year I did launch one of those like bigger rockets directly, accidentally into a tree, and I almost shit my pants. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! <laughs> like if I'm the guy that catches my neighborhood on fire, uh, things are not going to go well. I love so, it when the wife anyway. just has to ask. They go, "How old are you?" That always has like a little bit of embarrassment, but mostly pride in that. You know what I mean? I don't know. Sick. Let's think of some comments here, man. How to spot a grower comments. We talked about, uh, yeah, the cannabis is fashion, I think it was last Saturday. Great show. Yeah, it was and fun. How to spot a grower. j Pet has my favorite one. Yeah. How, you want to know how to spot a grower in a crowd? <laughs> Yell out cow mag and see who looks. That would work. <laughs> that would oh, work. Shit. I'm looking. This, I was inspired. This inspired me because I, uh, I looked over and I handed somebody a lighter and it just said Sensizyme on it. And I was like, yeah, I guess if you hand somebody a Sensizyme lighter, you're you're uh, probably a grower. And then I was looking for that one and all, I was like, oh, shit, that's just a Bic. You know, I need to find a Sensizyme. And I'm like, uh, somebody hands you one of a these. toker poker. <laughs> it's all sticky. Yeah, you know that they're a grower, man. You know? Uh, uh, Oscar. Oscar. Croke, well, you could. What is that? GQ four R O. What are they trying to say there, Johnny? You're gonna be GQ or four. I don't know, man. Like G GQ is for reverse oh. osmosis. Oh, all right. GQ fro. GQ. Well, Oscar wow, says when someone's always broke as the dang. <laughs> yep. oh. That was me when yep. when I first started comedy. People would always ask me for a hit of weed, and I just give them a giant nug. They're like, "How do you always uh, have weed?" Uh, that's the mistake, man. When you have weed, like too much weed. Yeah. That's when I know you're you a grower. throw it away. I don't give a shit. When you don't it. value it, like it's two, three hundred dollars an ounce. Right. Yeah. Not that you don't value it, but you don't monetarily you don't, value yeah, it. Yeah. It doesn't mean cash to you. Mm -hmm. It means your bucket gets a little It's less disposable. Ooh, and we have, we have one more. Uh, Lawrence Adkins says, look Shh. for dirty fingernails. Sure sign of a grower. Uh, I don't know about else. that one. Nah. That's also a sure, sure sign of a meth head, too. <laughs> you know, man, it could go anyway. Come <laughs> <laughs> like, on, baby, there's one hey, more. I got to uh, shout out, man. I was at the driver's license bureau yesterday. Oh, no, I'm sorry. And they did. They just had a dude come in that just, he was like, I don't know if he, you know, it's kind of a homeless dude, just came in to their driver's license bureau and said, hang <laughs> out and said, it was like out of all the places to go to, there seems like the weirdest spot, right? Why? I don't know, man. Because it's like, I I'd stay away from the government people. Maybe he mm. considers that his living room. I, mean, I don't know. It was, it was so strange, yeah. man. And they were nice, man. God bless America. They were really compassionate and called him some help and all that. But she thought it was so strange. He just kind of showed up and sat couple seats next to me and they called him help that that's how i know this wasn't denver <laughs> this is for god yeah for oh, denver is mania like at the risk of sounding insensitive maybe that they weren't like all there 
oh no, they definitely weren't there. But I just thought it was interesting. It took me an hour and a half to get my driver's license yesterday. And a homeless man came and sat two doors, two seats down for me and kind of passed out, you know, and yeah. And still took an hour. That's what I mean. Like, hey, and my cell out. phone didn't work, man. <laughs> I just wanted to just scroll Facebook, man, and oh. it just didn't work, man. Can I just say something that was kind of amazing? At the end, the guy takes my picture, he goes, smile. And uh, I walk up to get my temporary license, and he goes, hey, you're the real growers recharge dude, right? No way. And I was like, nice. Wow. Holy wow, crap. there's secret DGC in all spots. It's like Fight Club. Oh, that's you know? cool. See, you're, you know? you're infomercial, like, you know, famous stuff. It's like you're known as a real no. recharge guy. Not no. Scotty Real. Not the Dude Grows guy. Oh, you're that yeah. guy that slings recharge. Hey, you're <laughs> Slap Chop, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was wonderful. On my comment. Okay. Since we're in comments, I'm comment on my comment. I realized I just said, Hey, when you're homeless, you got options, right? And I'm speaking of people that are homeless that want to be homeless. Homeless can be a tough spot. There's a lot of homelessness going on right now. So I didn't want to offend anybody, if you will, Scotty. Sure. Yeah. Homeless and mental uh, let's go hand in hand. Another comment. Uh, all from, oh, this was from all the different names we had for weed we were talking about. Uh, this is JBags9619. Says, when in my younger days... My friends and I referred to the herb as sandwiches. Okay. It's awesome. It's like a code word. That makes sense, well, right? Think about it. Sandwich baggie? Yeah, and it's probably filled up to the size of a sandwich. I'd like an ounce would be Some a sandwich, fun, right? you know? Mm. So it's years later on the show, How I Met Your Mother aired, and in this show they called herb sandwiches. Whoa. Friggin' classic. Here, is, uh, that's, how, that's how you met your mother is a TV show. I got this Bartholomew <laughs> Farms. Uh, this for you, Grambo. Okay. When you were talking about the Dutch shovel, weren't you going <laughs> to? Yeah, yeah. When, when you have a that? grow and your uh, the snow on your roof melts. <gasps> I wanted to call that. I wanted Dutch to coin that the Dutch shovel, shovel. <laughs> and then so he got confused with uh, what the 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 Dutch oven. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, isn't forms. the Dutch shovel when you fart in bed and pull the blanket over your lady's head? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like he's classy. He calls her her lady. It my, it's my lady. And then Banner know? pointed out that there is also the uh, the Dutch rudder. <laughs> Do not look it up. Do not <laughs> look it up. Wait, that is. No, I just, have, I have, it's okay, dude. Just this go is why and I Google it. <laughs> Without taking it too far, I, I love Urban Dictionary, so I had to see what Dutch shovel it was on there. And <laughs> okay. the oh, first there's sentence. Okay, the very first sentence says a very complicated, multi-step sexual act involving the third stall of a Walmart bathroom. <laughs> yes, and evolved specifically at a Walmart stop. Oh boy! Yeah, I would Three. stop reading too, man. Oh, wow. Just, let's. <laughs> You know what? Uh, if you actually uh, uh, type in Urban Dictionary Grambo, one of the top results, it says a uh, fat, hairy stoner guy. No, uh, I had nothing to do with it. It's, it's so just mean. that's the top. We got to fix that. <laughs> it came out in 2010, nine, something like that. Oh, it's one of the oldest ones. Grambo, fat, hairy stoner guy. So he, they, Grambo pissed somebody off. Another guy named Grambo pissed somebody <laughs> off. Huh? Wow. Oh, I don't well, believe that. I'm going to remind you guys we'll to check out Grambo. Mm. All of our pros, another great way to support the show and know you're getting great gear for your go or your crow at a discount. This is why we got to do some more pre-records and have fun with it. I'm already, I've already ordered the fake headset, so stay tuned. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Dude, I already bought two slap slap pros. Jobs, so. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to upgrade your grow with some awesome gear from our pros list. All the coupon codes are listed there. With your shopping for seeds, you can actually get a sweet Dyna Vap dryer vaporizer, grow lights, and HLG. Check it out, dogrows.com forward slash pros. It's where you can. Oh, and also for 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 your husband, for for the grower in your life, that's the place to get the gifts. Okay, trust me. Check it out. It is true. It's vetted gear, as you like to say. You can't go wrong with any of those companies. No, you can't go wrong. Now, one of the hardest parts about being a new grower is who do you trust? There's so much crap out there. So I do find that's a huge resource for new growers, man. For real. And you are right. It is one thing. Yeah. It's important. And trust. trust. Okay. Yeah. How do you got the uh, shout out here for. Oh, you know what? Uh, this is Edward. 
Mrs. Big Word. I called up Big Word. It might be uh, growing some strains, uh, some big, some of the Big Word strains. Nice. And uh, Mrs. Big Word was home recovering from surgery. So uh, I wish you a speedy recovery. And of course, I awesome. talked to her about developing some show ideas for me. Ooh. I'm like, hey, yeah, it's a listen. Yeah. Actually, she listens, man. I'm like, come on. Big we word. should have a list of all the, in not a bad way, the, the oh, show yeah. ideas Scotty has developed. I love it. I do. Oh, the from the I do. And they're ridiculous. ridiculous. <laughs> the dabbing darts. <laughs> we haven't even told them about the new one, have we? Wait, you're right. I forgot that I bought a claw machine thinking that was a good investment. <sighs> you know, the little crane thing. <laughs> uh -huh. And then I realized we could just simplify it by just doing a dab off a dart and throwing it at Kyle. <laughs> He's holding a dart board. <laughs> there was, I need you all. That's what Big Word, Mrs. Big Word's helped me develop these concepts. <laughs> I, I explained I just... to someone who asked me online, they're like, how do you deal with Scotty's stuff? And I go, well, there's the pre high C era and the post high C era. Yeah, it calms me down a little bit. High Oh, C nice. takes the brunt of that <laughs> impact. <clears throat> <laughs> I want to wake a weed waterfall. Yes. It's a thousand right. pounds. So at least I'm dreaming, <laughs> sir. Right? Follow your dreams, shoot for the moon, and uh, take a dab of that cheap. I will say thank you to my team because I get to dream and I get to hopefully have good ideas. And I was able to develop the real buckets and develop the uh, grow dots and whatnot because I got my team here, man. Thank you, Banner. Thank you, Grambo. Yeah, man. Right on. I keep thinking of wacky stuff. Hells yeah. <laughs> you got one mirror here. Shout out to Pops. Is you know what? Pops? Who's Pops? This is my Pops. I was uh, talking to him. You know, he's sick and stuff like that. And I was just thinking about the first time I ever decided to grow. And I tell the story, but I'm going to tell it again, that I just went out to the hydro store and bought a five slab Rockwell system and a thousand watt light. And I hung it up in my walk-in closet. My dad invited, he's like, yeah, you can stay with me. I got a two bedroom apartment. <laughs> and so I just put it in my room. He respected my privacy. And uh, after about a month, he just looked in there and saw big old weed plants. He was just like, what the, what the fuck, Scotty? And uh, I remember the exact answer. I go, but dad, it's $4,000 a pound. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like hey, tell me more tell me more I'm so yeah i didn't even get in any trouble but uh always been a cool guy always been there he's a plumber and an air conditioning guy so i could always be... yes sir that's a big help that that's a freaking <laughs> big help and then a groin yeah um, i even use this concept he taught me back in the day water seeks its own level uh meaning that if you fill a bucket here it's what the what the real buckets work with that same principle if you fill a bucket here all the way to there it's going to go until they're all even yeah. you know, there's a hundred of them down the line one of my favorite uh scotty lessons from back in the day was like a lesson from your dad was like treat the pi uh your stems like plumbing like, like it, you, the mm -hmm. quote was prune like plumbing so if you got this teeny little thing it's like it, no nutrients can Plumber flow pine, through yeah. it yeah yeah so it's like i wrote down in my grow notes back in the day scott's dad prune prune for plumbing yeah it was just cool good good uh partner i'll say and a lot of fun stuff you know, a lot of fun grows and whatnot so i don't just reminiscing so i bet i'd give a shout out to my dad nice. he's a grower i second that i second that <laughs> wait okay. i got I, one more I, thing I, to tell you i got one more thing to tell yeah. you every time i talk to him he talks about setting up a, another grow i mean the guy is <laughs> barely walking he's like we should set another one up and then i tell him the prices <laughs> I'm like, Dad, it's like $700 <laughs> a pound now. And he's like, oh. It's <laughs> yeah. all come full circle. I was like, yeah. oh, no. He's like, what's left, Scotty? What's left? Where could you go? Is there anywhere left, <laughs> like Prohibition land-wise, as far as oh, where yeah. without? It's always risk, right? So it's wherever it's the, the, the most risk. Grambo, yeah, thank you. This is a good map. The average cost of ready to get educated marijuana. Oh, boy. Price for an ounce of high-quality marijuana. And who's the, who's the, damn, Philadelphia is 300, or, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Pennsylvania, $358 an ounce? Yeah, that's crazy. Iowa, Wait. where I'm from, three, 363. There's no way in Michigan it's $290 an ounce. I'm calling it shenanigans. I would also probably call shenanigans 242 in Colorado. I mean, 150 can get you the dank here. I was sure that was Oklahoma. That's Colorado. That's What's where that? we are? North Dakota. Mm. North Dakota is pretty expensive. Yeah, three eighty four there in North Dakota. Holy crap, Banner! Good eye, good eye. Wow, North. Who's driving in North Dakota? If you're bringing weed to North Wait, Dakota, what, how much in Florida? 
Florida. Uh, $299. 299. They got it on sale. Still expensive in Florida. Well, you're probably getting good weed down there, though. Mm. And then my friends, I mean, I'm older. Uh, so my friends that get good weed, uh, they get weed, get really good weed. They've had their guys for decades now. But the quality of cannabis down it's grown down there. There's great cannabis being grown down there. Florida. I hope so. Yeah. But you know, it's still so thinking about thinking about where prohibition still is with that. Cause I got a road trip coming up soon. I got to me and the boy getting down to, uh, from BC down to Cali, Visalia, California. And I go through Oregon or Washington, Oregon, and then Cali. And nowhere do I have to be sweating, worried about highway patrol, worried about smell, hiding shit really hard. Like back in the day, worried about right. getting arrested. Whereas if I go through a state that's prohibition, man, you gotta be, your game's gotta be on point. Like, isn't it federal once yeah. you cross state lines though, man? Uh, yeah, man. I don't think it works like that. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, this is my friend said, all right? The Utah's imaginary notorious. line, which I guess isn't imaginary at the border, is horrible. You can't, I do not take cannabis over the actual border line. I don't no. want to be caught by border patrol, but it's silly. It's federally legal here in Canada and it's legal in Washington, but don't take it over that line. Anyway, hey, it's just my weed. I love it when real quick, as you say, one time I did go over there and I'm always honest because I'm the worst liar where a guy's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm heading down to a cannabis event. What do you <laughs> do? I'm, a, I'm a YouTube, I'm a cannabis creator on YouTube. What's the event? We actually have a growing competition. This is when I was driving over the border to go to the Seattle airport. And the guy looks at me and he's like, do you have any goods with you that are associated with your work? And I'm like, <laughs> What do you mean? Like, no, I'm like, I do not have any cannabis. If this is what, like, he kind of just got caught off guard. It was a hilarious younger border patrol guy. He goes like, what is this guy telling? I know. Right. I like they care about cannabis. Is he serious? Oh, by the way, you are on the, like every list there is now. <laughs> like, oh, we'll put him on this well, list. He's on the check. Cool. He's yeah. definitely on the cool guy. list. Uh, yeah, you're right. If you're Canadian, you can get at. I mean, Ramo from Ramo Nutrients, if you're honest that you're in the cannabis business, the U.S. can just decide not to let you in. And it's happened. It's it's just insanity. So thank thank God I got dual citizenship. I'm like a spy, buddy. Oh, yes. Hey, do me a favor. Just click this really quick. I just, on my Facebook, this showed up. AI, in case of cyber attack, break glass and pull cables. <laughs> can we just do that if AI starts taking over? No. Tries to enslave humanity? No. We can't just pull some cables. Are you this sure? Is what I've always, I agree with you, Scotty. I've been <laughs> like, pretty smart. I don't like banners look, man. Turn off the power. Uh, yeah. 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 Can we end all arguments about AI taking over by saying unplug it? And that's what my, I would rather rip the cables out. I'm a little angrier than you, but uh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, real quick, I just wanted to see, we were talking about cannabis fashion. Just click on this. I Googled cannabis perfumes because I was doing the Dutch. You know what I'm saying? Really? Look, look how many cannabis perfumes there are. And like, in the beginning, I was like, does this make you smell like cannabis or cover up? You know, the, your cannabis. I think smell, it but... smells like. Yeah. Look at these. Oh, wait. It's... Not just perfume. Colognes? We can say either. Okay. Right? Yeah. What colognes? Yeah. We, we, we're going to need a description on one of these. This is Maline and Getz Cannabis Eau de Parfum. Yeah. De, de Parfum. If any DGC have uh, used any of these, definitely leave a comment. We'd like to know what this is. Is there any like. descriptions? Click on one. Of All right, let's yeah. check it out. I got fresh. Let me give you okay. a fresh. I'm going to go with Malin and Goats. <laughs> you are so classy. Yeah. Dude, fresh, fresh has been elegantly serving cannabis centel eau de parfum for nearly <laughs> two decades. So, yes, way ahead of their time with just the right amount of earthy cannabis, patchouli, citrus, and wood. Oh, no. Easily could go sporting, <laughs> daytime, or black tie. So, it's not the smell of cannabis. It's the essence of the cannabis user. And we're, because here's the one I picked. Shut up. Because, because all what cannabis does that users mean? The use essence patchouli. of a cannabis the, user. Marl the Marlin Goods one that I found, it's like, it's a it's Jones a it's a woody sweat. perfume for men and women. Envelop yourself with this spicy and herbaceous fragrance uh, of Molly to Gets cannabis. Get oh that. Feel God. both naughty and chic. Ooh, I don't know. Yes, sir. I don't know where you guys get your oil change, but the last time I got my oil change, my my guy uh, put in a pure hemp. Uh, air freshener. Oh shit! No, swear my God. God. Oh my God! That's how you know it's you going full circle. Serious. Uh, I like oh. this one's just called Chronic. Ooh, beauty habits. Yeah, this one. Huh. 
Yeah, is that one different? Does it does that even smell like weed? No, no, no. Interesting notes of cumin seed, seed oil, guallic wood, <laughs> hemp, accord, and patchouli. Here's oh. one for Scott. Cannabis in cocoa perfume spray. Where the patchouli? How oh, right. man. Ew, that's like me and my dog. If Scotty's birthday is coming up, we know we're getting it. We need a Durban oh. flavor for Grambo. That's chocolate no. cannabis right there. <laughs> patchouli for Banner, Durban for Grambo. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I don't think any of these are meant to smell like, as you said, that Scotty, sucks. your, your fragrance, do you want to create the Dutch? Um, Cowboy Kush. This sounds horrible. It says... Whether you're trying to recreate the afterburn, after party waft in the room, or you just want or love the thought of it, they said the after party no. waft in the room. No, <laughs> party. You're doing it wrong, party. Bud and Bo. Oh, here you go. This you wants to smell like before <clears throat> the party. This one, the herbalist rollerball, is one of my favorite as a standalone or mixed with another. Help me understand what that means. Wait, what rollerball? The herbalist rollerball is one of my favorites as a standalone or mixed with another. I think it's a, they're oil dispensers. So I'm it's like done, tip yeah, oil over and you can weird. roll, you can roll Wait, it like over. That, that deodorant that rolls on. Kind of. Yeah, that, oh, you're right. It's a roller, roller ball, ball, dude. It, like you just coat your body in it. Not not to be confused with the LL Cool J film roller oh, ball. No, shut up. What, who was it? Steve McQueen or something? Back in the 60s. <laughs> Maybe it was the 70s. Dude, that rollerball is awesome, man. There's monkeys on motorcycles. Did LL Cool J have that? Yeah. LL Cool J's rollerball is a... Uh, was it, you gotta love it. Roller Derby Google star. original one, man. The original one was so hardcore, bro. Oh, man. Come on. Wait, Wait, the yeah, roller they, derby one? They made it in prison, bro. <laughs> yeah. Everybody died afterwards. You ever go to roller derby, dude? Oh. The in roller derby, I have, and it's insane. There's a local team. Really? Yeah. It's a weird thing, man. It's a whole subculture. Yeah, yeah. Huh. All right. Hijack over, dude. <laughs> we'll watch it, man. I got a couple of seducers here. I got to give it up to, to the roach. What's growing on? Mr. C, growing for B. Hey. And, uh, Premium agriculture, Scotty. I got some premium agriculture. <laughs> Mr. C right. growing for B. What the yeah. hell could that mean? I do know what that means. Yeah. That's my boy that's growing for his kid that is sick. Um, All right, man. I thought growing for B. I thought he was growing B to B business. No, <laughs> man. Yeah, Grambo. <laughs> growing B to B. Yes. Uh, Dudegrows.com forward slash support, guys. Uh, we are below our threshold. We could really use your support. It does make the show happen. These are not just words coming out of my mouth. Again, we help to grow, man. You guys want to help us push prohibition down. This is not some conventional business, man. So I say, Scotty, this is a weed <laughs> growing show. So we don't have conventional means here with uh -oh. YouTube and other things that we've been suppressed with, with a prohibition of cannabis. So do gross.com forward slash support. Help a brother out. Help the show go on. Now, Scotty, take us in. Take us out. Take us in to some memes and some social media. Let's laugh here. What do you got? Ah, uh, you know what, man? Just oh, hey, Grandpa, if you would, just hit right over that new pepper. There is a the new world's hottest pepper, dude. Oh, it's yeah. horrible name. Pepper, pepper X. X. Where is that? X. That's right I thought yeah, Elon man. Musk did this. No, nah, no, this is uh, Ed Curry from <laughs> P Pucker Butt Pepper Company, and. Wow, you would think Pucker would, butt I, that makes me think that he's eating a lot of really hot peppers. He's the guy who created the Carolina Reaper. The Carolina Reaper. He's uh, cool, okay. dude. Which this blows away. <laughs> it's like the Jack Her. No, actually not. It's Jack Her. Hotter, hotter than law enforcement grade pepper spray hits the market. I mean, you don't have to have that hot of a pepper spray to F your eyes up. Have you ever been pepper sprayed or have you ever experienced that in your, your eyes, Scotty? No, I've rubbed my eyes after, you know, eating jalapeno or something like that. Probably just Buddy, similar, I imagine. It really <laughs> hurt. It made it tear up a little bit worse. A guy uh, ate it on the show Hot Ones and said he had cramps for four hours after. Holy. <laughs> oh, you were suffering. When you go through a uh, police academy, they, uh, they spray you. You have to be sprayed. And my buddy sent me the video of it happening to, happening to him. It was so good. He yelled out, Mahoney. Like, All right, here we go. We're going to mace your ass. Uh, so just so you understand it, if it happens to you, how can you try and function? What can you do if somebody uses it against you? Pretty interesting. But this Pepper X, man, I don't like the name. You could be more creative and we're getting out of control. 2.6 million skull heat units. That's ridiculous. Like, what do you right. do with the thing? Get a Guinness World Record, bro. Yeah. What if he just didn't name it yet? He's like, yeah, just made so, this, man. 
don't know if you guys know anything about it, but um, he's intentionally like trying to not let it out and try to cut down on the people stealing the name and stuff like that. Well, it comes with seeds. So you can. Okay. No, no, no. You can only buy okay. it direct and it's just like hot sauce. Oh, gotcha. You can't buy. He's gotcha. not selling any fresh ones or anything like that. Huh. And it's been, uh, by the way, a secret for 10 years. Dude, this guy lives in my dad's hometown, like the same exact little town. I'm gonna have to look him up and and what do you think? He, he just stalk him. He's got to be a stoner though, dude. Check him out. Yeah, he does. Bed look, Curry. He looks. Um, I'm just saying. He looks like. I'm not saying it. I, I think I he, might get uninvited to his house, but if you like weed, man, you should let me in. You know, yeah, I'm the guy. I'm sure, they grow weed over there too. I'm the guy smoking in the car in your driveway. This video is paused and it's making my eyes hurt. <laughs> is, yes, dude. Is so what weird. are these called again? A bit like, uh, yeah, duh. I wrote it down, man. I wrote it down what they were called. That is awesome. This is why we. This video is an, paused. Anomalous motion. Yeah, it's, it's anomalous the, motion right here. It's not moving yet. It's moving bad. For There's me. a whole video of them. And that one's not moving for me. Oh, wow. No, it's moving bad. Here, for keep me. going. See what happens. Yeah, It'll, v, for this is a Vsauce. Anyone that knows Vsauce. Uh-uh. Oh, you don't know Vsauce? Oh, man. Uh-uh. It's great. See, look Smart at this. people. Yeah, YouTube. watch. Hey, Vsauce. Michael's here. What? Watch. It's going to look like it's bold as you're reading. You know what? They have to. Wow, it is weird. This one's the best. Oh, I love that one. This yeah. one's the best. Yeah, that oh. one's cool. Oh, it, get, it makes me car sick. I can't even look at it. Oh, that one instantly will spin for me. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of science guys on my YouTube. And Smart you can actually learn something. Cool. It's pretty cool. Smart boys. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, that's a wild one. It's really not moving. Yeah, none of it moves. Well, that none of it's like moving. Totally messes with your eyes. They're still, so you can find them on the what internet. Anomalous motion. I want to see it. Where you see a picture within a picture. I remember seeing like a ball. Magic yeah. eye and like, stuff. You have, to, you have to look through it to see yeah. eventually what you're going to see. Stereo dra- stereographic imagery, as it was called. I like it. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff, man. Pretty cool. Oh, you know what, man? It just... Yeah, do we have a program, bro? I said the banner. I go, man, I think I saw the dumbest person in my life. But look how uh, handsome he is. is. I couldn't resist. Hang on. I have finally acquired the knowledge and experience of building stuff to realize one of my most, as you can see, I have very <laughs> much knowledge. They were going back to the first thing I ever wanted is to Is he stoned with clear eyes? Something very peculiar oh, called a rotary subwoofer. If you know if he wants to make audio, you can kill control. it. He's proved his point. Oh, is that it's, the thing that spins like that's like a buzz? Is that a used to use? making the world's most powerful subwoofer, a rotary subwoofer? And Grambo, this guy has a good title. And I'm sorry to say, how many, how many views do you think he's? Uh, I mean, he's handsome, so a lot. One point, yeah, he's dumb and handsome, man. dumb and yeah, handsome. That's, combo. that's the move. Uh, it's like 1.4 million views in five months. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I wonder why we try. I always like to know what the top comment is. is. Oh, uh, new vid has music, sound effects, etc. Played through it through the max. What on earth does oh, that mean? That's him. That's him, man. Oh, a very discerning set of human ears. Ah, oh, man, yeah, people are taking yeah. him seriously. Yeah. I always like to read the t- top oh, comments. Well, the second one said Area 51. It just started with. Area 51, North Pole, weather condition control. Why is he dope? NSA might be knocking at your door. Hertz can be used to hurt. Oh, come on. That's a good one. That's not bad. Oh, my gosh. People are crazy. I, All I right. scrolled the video, and he looked very uh, intelligent with his use of tools and building abilities. He, he almost screwed to his face. He, he almost screwed <laughs> through his face there. Did you see that? But he also has a really great <laughs> editor. <laughs> he paid some nerd to make this for him. Why well, maybe he's really talented at editing. He's dude. not. <laughs> Intelligence than the eye of the beholder. That's true. That's true. I don't believe in smart and stupid. I'm glad to see anybody doing something. That's true. That is. Um, what'd you do if your kid was spending all his time making that thing in the garage? I'd man? ask him if I could buy weed from him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, man. Sorry. That's it, man. That's it. Hmm. Can we just end right. it with the orangutan driving again? Did, did I, should I just I don't think we've, this. I don't think we've shown this, this before. Uh, uh, oh, it's the best, bro. <laughs> Can you give it a little music if you would? All right. He has the stereo go. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, it is an orangutan just ri- driving around in the golf cart at the zoo oh, with man. some tunes on. Come on. 
What's the movie? Clint is Clint Eastwood in the orangutan? Is that a yeah. Movie? I just I know they're really smart. Wow. Oh, he's on GPS. He's got GPS. Just said turn left. The, the, wow. It's driving to the banana right. store. That one's called. Man. You let the orangutan. You let the orangutan play. Uh, you guys missed our last show. Go check out. Heck, don't forget to check out our lives. We just did a great auto flower show this past Monday. Um, that's on our live tab on YouTube. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, help grow the channel, get notified when we're hanging out three times a week. And uh, I think that's Saturday, man. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Take her easy, Scotty Grambo banner. Stay away from that razor. That's coming straight from Skunk Ass, man. He says, Banner, back away from the razor. Okay, everybody's got their opinion. I love young Banner over here. <laughs> uh, young Banner. We should do a whole segment, a young Banner segment. Young Banner. Uh, I dig it. Good hanging out, everybody. Happy Saturday. Grambo, Banner. Go have, your, have yourself some fun. Yeah. All right. <laughs>